Hi everybody, welcome back. We will discuss a new topic, prepositions today. The word preposition is made of pre plus position. Here, pre means before, position means placed. Hence, preposition is a word which is placed before a noun or a pronoun to show the relationship of that noun or pronoun with some other words in the sentence. So, what is prepositions in simple words? A preposition is a word used to denote how the subject in relationship with noun or pronoun. Prepositions are divided into six kinds according to their nature. They are first one simple prepositions, second one double prepositions, third one disgives prepositions, fourth one compound prepositions, fifth one phrase prepositions and the sixth one participle prepositions. We discuss the very first one simple prepositions. So, what is simple prepositions? When a preposition consists of one word is called a single or simple prepositions. We will learn a few simple prepositions namely in, at, on, by, for, from, of and its usages today. Let us discuss each one with examples. Simple preposition in, not one. The simple preposition in is used for bigger places such as the sky, the world, continents, countries, states, cities, town, big villages, a street, a square, a room, a forest, a wood, a field or any other enclosed place. For example, it is made in India. We live in Kerala. He lives in Hanuman Street. Here the simple preposition in is used for bigger places such as the sky, the world, continents, countries, states, cities, town, big villages, a street, a square, a room, a forest, a wood, a field or any other enclosed place. Not to. The simple preposition in is used for longer duration of time. For example, Raja came in the morning or in the evening or in the afternoon. Here the symbol preposition in is used for a longer duration of time. Not three. The symbol preposition in is used for larger places. For example, the Japan Prime Minister arrived in India. Here the symbol preposition in is used for larger places. Not four. The symbol preposition in is used for rest position, place and state. For example, the table is in the room. There is water in the pot. He is in poor health. They are in the classroom. Here the simple preposition in is used for rest position, place and state. Not five. The simple preposition in is used to denote an action at the end of a period of time. For example, he shall type the letters in two days. Here the simple preposition in is used to denote an action at the end of a period of time. Not six. The simple preposition in is used to denote an action at the end of a period in the future. For example, they will return in a month. Here the simple preposition in is used to denote an action at the end of a period in the future. Not seven. The simple preposition in is used before months, years, seasons, parts of the day. For example, I was born in December. She got married in 2020. Don't eat ice cream in winter. He will come in the morning. Here the simple preposition in is used before months, years, seasons, parts of the day. Simple preposition at not one. The simple preposition at is used for smaller places such as a small village, an address, a certain point, bus stop, railway station, airport, a bridge, home, work or any other small open place. For example, he lived at Church Street. I work at Rameshwaram, a small village. Gopi lives at Rameshwaram. Here the simple preposition at is used for smaller places such as a small village, an address, a certain point, bus stop, railway station, airport, a bridge, 
home, work or any other small open place. Not to. The simple preposition at is used for time precisely. For example, Bala came at 10 o'clock. She goes to office at 9 a.m. The movie starts at 6 p.m. and ends at 8 p.m. Here the simple preposition at is used for time precisely. Not three. The simple preposition at is used for a small place. For example, they arrived at the bus stop. She is at home today. I met her at the bus stop. Here the simple preposition at is used for a small place. Not for. The simple preposition at is used for age, rate, speed. For example, he got married at 35. Mangoes are sold at rupees 30 a kilogram. The car is going at full speed. Here the simple preposition at is used for age, rate, speed. Not five. The simple preposition at is used for shops, workplace, grouped activities. For example, I saw you at the party. There were many people at the meeting. She works at public library. Here the simple preposition at is used for shops, workplace, group activities. Simple preposition on, not one. The simple preposition on is used for the time arranged or at the specified time. For example, the train arrived on time. Here the simple preposition on is used for the time arranged or at the specified time. Not to. The simple preposition on is used to denote days or dates or special days. For example, Shivani was born on Monday. Sanvi was born on 24th June. She presented me a gift on my birthday. Here the simple preposition on is used to denote days or dates or special days. Not three. The simple preposition on is used for horseback and foot. For example, he goes to the office on foot. Here the simple preposition on is used for horseback and foot. Not for. The simple preposition on is used to denote things in rest position touching the head. For example, the television is on the table. The book is on the table. We are sitting on the benches. Here the simple preposition on is used to denote things in rest position touching the head. Not five. The simple preposition on is used to denote membership. For example, Jodi is on the staff. Amit is on the committee. Here the simple preposition on is used to denote membership. Simple preposition by. Not one. The simple preposition by is used to point out the fixed time or before it. It is usually used with the future tense. For example, we shall be back by 9 pm. They will submit the report by noon. Here the simple preposition by is used to point out the fixed time or before it. It is usually used with the, the future tense. Not to. The simple preposition by is used for any means of transportation. For example, we traveled by train. I always traveled by a car. Here the simple preposition by is used for any means of transportation. Not three. The simple preposition by is used before a person in passive voice. For example, a snake was killed by Rani. The work was done by Philip. Here the simple preposition by is used before a person in passive voice. Simple preposition for. Not one. The simple preposition for is used to denote a duration of time. For example, he has been working for four years. Here the simple preposition for is used to denote a duration of time. Not to. The simple preposition for is used for a definite period of time and the action continues for the whole period such as for a long time, for the whole day, for five days, forever etc. For example, he is waiting for two months. The downtrodden section had been kept to slaves for a long time. Here the simple preposition 
for is used for definite period of time and the action continuous for the whole period not 3 the simple preposition for is used to denote purpose and denoting destination for example i am going to market for vegetables we vote for trump here the simple preposition for is used to denote purpose and denoting destination simple preposition from not one the simple preposition from is used to denote our starting point to our destination for example he will start the work from monday here the simple preposition from is used to denote our starting point to our destination not to the simple preposition from is used for time and place for example he waited from 6 pm to 6 30 pm i went from agra to delhi here the simple preposition from is used for time and place simple preposition of not one the simple preposition of indicates separation or disconnection for example the baby fell off the cradle he took off his hat here the symbol preposition of indicates separation or disconnection we have learned prepositions and a few simple prepositions namely in at on by for from of and its usages today's session we will wind up we will be back with our next video symbol prepositions part 2 please do subscribe our channel and don't forget to press bell icon have a good day until we come back